Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is Monday, January 25th, 2021. And I'm getting ready to do, the, the, do my flagship report for today. That is the COVID-19 analysis for the U.S. of A. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to all 72 of my subscribers. You know, let's, let's get to 75. Look, I know there's three people at this point who need to subscribe today. If you have three people subscribe today, or even this week, we'll get to 75, okay? You started out with one or two, now we're up to 75, okay? Secondly, I need you to click the like button. Those likes are very important to Facebook and to YouTube and me because this tells me that people are actually looking at my reports, okay? Thirdly, I need you to click on the share button, click on the share link, share this, this report with one person this week who's interested in the COVID-19 situation in the U.S., okay? So let's go and get this report run in. Of course, uh, what? Uh, so uh, let's see what uh, the U.S. is in what the third or fourth week of the vaccination program. Uh, okay, but you can see here. Uh, some people say. Well, I, I asked one person, and he said uh, the opinion. He said, "Well, some people are saying we really want to see a, a big change in the COVID-19 numbers until 50% of the people are, are vaccinated." Okay. 50% of the people who don't have, who don't currently who don't have COVID-19 are vaccinated. Of course, if, if you have COVID-19, then the vaccine doesn't do you any good, right? Okay. Not because if you have, if you have COVID-19, then you need a therapeutic and not a vaccine. Okay. Um, all right. So take a look. You currently see the U.S. has 25.1 million cases, 419,214 deaths, and you can see here that the mortality rate is beginning to trend back up. Uh, right now, it's probably about 1.752% uh, on average, but it is trending upward, okay? But here's the good news. Uh, cases are trending downward. You can see the trend down right here, okay? Which is good news. Uh, deaths continue to be trending upward, although we have a lot of volatility numbers. I'm never quite sure what that is. And you can see on the fourth day moving average here, that the uh, that the numbers are really continuing to, to spike up in deaths, which is why the uh, so fa falling cases and rising deaths uh, uh, tend to uh, increase the mortality rate. Okay. Well, here's to, here's Sunday Monday. Here's here's Sunday's numbers. This is last week's numbers. You can see this is the lowest number in maybe five or six weeks for cases, which is good news. Deaths last week was a well was the lowest number of deaths. In, in two in three weeks here's the current deaths okay if we take a look at the uh january cases for the u.s you see that january is already the second most is the month of the second most cases so far with a week ago and a power creep for up towards this here deaths unfortunately will probably catch uh, december's deaths uh, january's deaths will almost certainly catch december's deaths with a week to go okay so that's so the good news so far this week is that the cases do tend to be trending downward now. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time. And one more time, uh, thanks to my subscribers. If you aren't subscribing, click that subscribe button. It's free. Okay. Okay. Secondly, uh, click the like button. Those likes are very important to both you two and me. And then, of course, maybe most important of all, click on the share button and share this link with one person this week. I know that you know one person who's interested in the COVID-19 situation in the U.S. Share this report with that person this week, okay? Thanks so much for your time, and we'll catch you on a later report.